What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Um, yeah, so there was an announcement made. Uh, some rumors have been spreading around. And uh, looks like uh, apparently Pentax has leaked, I guess, or somebody found out that Pentax apparently on the very, very near future horizon, that will be, I believe it was November 25th, there will be a new camera called the Pentax Kentucky Fried. Uh, not really, it's called the KF. What does this mean? Well, the K70 is pretty long in the tooth. Uh, so, given the images that you see here, this looks like the same body with maybe some upgrades inside. Uh, there's absolutely no specs on the camera whatsoever. And so I've been thinking, like, what, what do I think will actually be in that camera? Is it really going to be just a K70 slight upgrade uh, with the exact same body? Or are these images actually of, uh, you know, the K70 body, even though they have another body in the works that will be released on the 25th, but they just didn't... Uh, want to make that public as of yet. Will it be an entirely different body? Uh, Price-wise, I believe it worked out to about $800 US. And um, what could they possibly do for that price point? It's not exactly super entry level. Uh, it's more of maybe, you know, just barely scratching the surface of a mid-range DSLR. It will be a DSLR. Does the KF mean that, actually, maybe it's not a DSLR. Does the KF mean it's a K-mount film camera? <sighs> Stop getting everyone excited, dude. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, you know, it looks like it does have an articulating screen. As I said, it is the exact same body K70. Uh, so I think it will have the same articulating screen, whole flip out, whoop de doo woohoo uh, screen. Um, hybrid autofocus, I'm leaning towards them not actually doing that. Uh, I think the K70 and the KP will be the last Pentax DSLRs for a while that will actually have hybrid autofocus. Uh, will it have subject recognition such as what the K3 Mark III has? No, I don't think it will actually have that. And one second. Yeah, Coda, lie down. You're wrecking the video, bro, all your whining. Come here. Hey, come here. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. Come on. There you go. There you go, buddy. Okay. One million dollars. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, will there be anything from the K3 Mark III in the K70? I doubt it. Uh, I'm leaning more towards uh, what the K3 and the K3 Mark II uh, were built like, um, you know, from the internals, not the exterior, because the K70 is a plastic body on a magnesium chassis. I think they're going to stick with that. Will it be using the same DLI uh, 90 battery? Or will it be the DLI 109 battery? Uh, if it's the same body, I think it'll be the smaller battery, uh, which supported the K70, K30, K50, K500. Um, I don't see them moving up to the larger battery of the flagship cameras. Uh, what I do think is there will be uh, you know, marginally better autofocus, uh, you know, going from a K30 or K50 to a K3. It'll be in that range. Uh, I believe it will be 26 megapixels, so it'll probably have the same sensor as what's in the K3 Mark III. Outside of that, uh, let's see, new features. If if history is to teach us anything, it seems that every time Pentax releases a camera that has two letters in the name, not a letter followed by a number, but two letters, uh, KS1, KS2, KP, 
Each one of those was like an experimentation camera. They introduced something completely new. Uh, KS1, KS2, you know, the, the grip with the LED lights used as a countdown timer if you're doing selfies and things like that so you can see exactly how much, how, how long it'll take for the camera to actually fire and take the picture. Interesting idea, interesting concept, a little too gizmo flashy disco-like for my taste, but it, the, the idea, I get it, I get it. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, the KP brought us ridiculous ISO capability from an APS-C DSLR. Uh, you know, it was, we never saw that coming. What can this do? Uh, what, what can they do with the KF? I think, and this is really stretching out here, if they do, well, I think that it is possible that this will be the camera that actually has the hybrid viewfinder. It's possible. It is possible. However, looking at the images, it looks like it will still have the same solenoid for the aperture. That doesn't look like it's any different. There isn't that extra bulk on the side for a stepper motor. So it looks like it's going to be the same aperture solenoid. I mean, same aperture solenoid design. I'm not saying they're going to use the same aperture solenoid. Hopefully they've learned from their past and their mistakes. And this will actually be a reliable solenoid like it used to be. Um, outside of that, will it shoot 4K? Very possible that it will shoot 4K. Most likely 1.3 time crop, just as it is in the K3 Mark III. However, it may actually do 1080, 120, instead of topping out at 1080, 60p. It may actually go to 120p for some slow motion. Um, I, regardless as to whether or not it's hybrid auto, or uh, yeah, the hybrid autofocus, it will have video AFC with PLM lenses. That's a pretty much that's pretty much a given. Um, you know, however, there was a rumor a long while back, uh, way before like before the K3 Mark III even came out, that there will be a camera that will be more video centric coming out. So I'm, I actually wonder now that I say it, I actually wonder if that's what the KF is actually going to be a more video centric. DSLR from Pentax, which would be really, really strange, and nobody would have seen that coming. I'm thinking came out film, like cinematography film, you know, that kind of thing. You know, hey man, you wanna go shoot a flim? Yeah man, hold on, let me get my stuff, boy. I'll be right there still, one time, see? Anyways, yeah, so those are my thoughts. I mean, I, I don't. I don't really know. Uh, you know, it's there's literally no specs whatsoever. So I'm completely speculating on the spectrum of specs. Uh, you know, one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed, frames per second. Uh, I'm leaning towards this being sort of a hybrid between a KP and K70. So six, seven. It'll probably be the same as the K3, uh, K3 Mark II. So eight point three frame per second burst rate. ISO capability, I think they will top that out at uh, probably the KP level, 819,600, uh, I think it was. They may keep it at the same level as what the K70 is, which was, uh, what, 102,000 something ISO? Or maybe they'll just bump it up a bit and it'll be 412,000 ISO, or 416,000 ISO. 400 something thousand ISO. ISO. Uh -huh. So. Those are pretty much my thoughts on uh, this camera, seeing as there isn't even a picture of the back of the camera, not even the top, nothing. It's just what I, it's just this. That's all there is to it. That's all there is. Come on, Pentax, you can do a better job than that. November 25th isn't like months away. It's this month. It's like, what, two weeks? Yeah, and there's not anything. Unless this is going to be the same type of thing that they tried to pull with the KP where no one saw that coming and it was just, oh, here's your camera. And there it was. But then they discontinued it, which I still think was a mistake, and they left the K70, which now is, looks like it's going to be getting a replacement. But anyway, that's it. Uh, so what do you guys think? What do you think will actually realistically be in this camera? Like, 
who do you think this camera is going to be for? You know, the, the cell phoneographer or, you know, who's kind of interested in getting a regular camera? Or is this actually going to be a decent entry into the Pentax world of DSLRs? Or I guess I, sh I could actually, wow, this is weird. Very weird. Could I actually not even have to say Pentax DSLRs? Yeah. Just a nice entry into DSLRs, period, because Pentax is the last one still dedicated to actually doing it. It's crazy. Never thought, never thought that day would come. Huh. Interesting. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you like it, leave a like. If you haven't liked it or thumbs down, I messed that up, I should probably go. So if you don't like it, thumbs down, but at least let me know. Let a brother know. Help a brother out, you know? Come on, man. Come on, woman. Come on, them. Anyways, if you want to support the channel, that info is down there at the bottom. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I expect lots of comments about what you guys think will actually be in this camera. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see everybody's ideas and then see what actually comes out on the 25th. And that's it. Thanks for watching the video. I'm going to go. You'll see me in the next one.